T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Main engine start, zero, and lift off of the Atlas V with curiosity. Seeking clues to the planetary puzzle about life on Mars. The program is in right on time. 180 operating percent plus as expected. And throttling down to 76 percent. Program is complete. MSL is now breaking the sound barrier. There be chamber pressures and following the nominal curve. Everything will be fine. And we pass through max Q. We're on closed loop on Atlas PU. Signatures as expected. SRB profile continues to look nominal. Throttling back up. 100% thrust on the RD-180. Engine parameters looking good. Flight control disturbances look as expected. SRB pressures running right as expected. Coming up on SRB burnout, we have burnout of the SRBs. Everything is looking good. Ten seconds to SRB jet. And we have first pair and second pair. Both sets of SRBs have successfully jettisoned the vehicle. We have re-enabled guidance. Everything is looking good. This is Rob Gannon, our United Launch Alliance telemetry manager we're hearing. Vehicle is now 32 nautical miles in altitude, 54 miles downrange, traveling at 4,900 miles per hour. And we've throttled down to hold a constant 2.5 G level for payload fairing jettison. Fired the pyro valve, pressurized in the RCS bottle. Pressure increasing in the loop as expected. Now we're hitting our 2.5 G limit coming up on payload fairing. Edison, approximately 10 seconds. Bearing jet. And we also have a successful CFLR jettison, but as expected, throttling up on the RD-180, everything looking good. Coming up to 89% thrust.